Hi, I'm John. I'm a product manager from DidRobot. Today I will be demonstrating how we can use anomaly detection with images through DataRobot's unsupervised mode. This is useful when we don't have enough labeled examples of a rare event and cannot start with a supervised setting. What I have here are about 30,000 images of concrete surfaces. Some of these surfaces have cracks. The idea would be to use anomaly detection to hopefully identify cracked concrete as anomalous. I've already gone ahead and uploaded this to DataRobot. Let's go ahead and run anomaly detection on these images. You can easily and quickly access anomaly detection through DataRobot's unsupervised mode. Make sure you have anomalies selected. All it takes is a simple click of the start button. I'll switch over to a project that has already been completed. You'll see, just like any other project, we have a ranked list of models with validation and cross-validation scores. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our insights and first look at our image embeddings. With our image embeddings, we have a color bordered around the images to indicate the predictive anomaly score. The closer the color is to red on the gradient scale, the higher the probability that the image is an anomaly. Let's explore the results here a little bit. What it looks like is that the model is identifying surfaces with cracks as anomalous. However, there are some images here as well that do not have cracks, but may look particularly smooth. But let's keep going. Let's take a look at some images that are not anomalies. You can do this by selecting the not anomaly option under the filter by predicted filter. And what you'll notice here is that it seems like the model is doing a pretty good job of identifying surfaces without cracks. Switching back to only anomalies, we do get a pretty good sense that the model has learned to identify images of cracks as anomalous. We also have filters available to make exploration a little easier. We can increase or decrease the prediction threshold to focus on a wider or narrower probability range. And as demonstrated, we can also filter by only anomaly or not anomaly. We can also take a look at some of our other models and compare how other models are interpreting the data. Let's now head to the activation maps and take a look. It looks like the model is highlighting areas around cracks as important, which is good. This is what we expected and what we were hoping for. Lastly, just like any other data robot model, you can quickly deploy it into production. All it takes is a few clicks. And there you have it, deployed into production. I hope you found this demo useful, and thank you for watching. <laughs>